أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وآله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته hope you all are fine sisters الحمد لله so this is our fourth class okay we will start with a beautiful dua ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار our Lord forgive us that our sins and write off our evil deeds and make us die only when we have joined the righteous. Amen, Ya Rab. Okay, so we just, uh, today's class is the continuation of the Mahkharij al Huruf. It's uh, the second class. Okay, the last class we have discussed about the uh, Jauf and the letters. Okay, so uh, just we will go through that general Mahkharij. You know what is general Mahkharij? General Makharij is the articulation point of a letter uh, as a whole. Yani, um, the, we will mention the whole organ together. From the same organ, there will be more than one letter. There will be six, there will be ten, there will be eighteen, there will be four. Okay, there will be lots of letters. And from where in that organ these different letters are coming, that we will discuss as specific articulation points. Okay, so that means the makharij it is divided into two: general makharij and specific makharij. Okay, makharij uh, uh, no, the makharij alama and makharij alkhasa. Makharij alama is the whole makharij. Yani general makharij. If I say there are five: the aljawf, the alhalq, the the alisan, alshafatan, and alkhayshum. Okay, which are they? The throat, uh, sorry, the, the the mouth, the empty cavity in the mouth and the throat. That is the al jawf, and second is the al halq, the throat. The third is the al lisan, the tongue. The fourth is the al shafatan, the two lips, and the fifth one is the al khayshum, that is the nasal cavity. So these are the five general makhraj. Yani makhraj al amma, amma yani it is the all together organ, and these. A uh, single uh, general makharij is again divided into specific general ma- and specific makharij. For we can understand from where specifically these letters are coming. For example, from the al halq there are six letters are coming. Okay, hamza ha, ain ha, and ghayn ha. The six letters from al halq we will be confused. From where is this thought? These six letters are coming. Is this from the same place? No. They are divided into three specific areas from where Hamza and Ha is coming from the deepest part, Ain and Ha is from the middle part, Ain and Ha from the upper part. Okay, that means the general Makharij is again divided into specific Makharij. This all we have discussed in the last class, right? So today we will go to the second general Makharij. The last class we did about the Al Jawf, where the Alif Madiya, Wa Madiya, and Ya Madiya are coming okay we have explained the mechanism also uh, the al jawf why it is not divided into specific makhraj also we have discussed decided in the, uh, discussed in the last class right alhamdulillah we will now move to the second general makhraj it is the al halq okay al halq yani the throat the throat it is not scientifically um, i don't know how it is divided uh, anatomically you know in our uh, scientific explanation i don't know how it is divided but tajweedically if we have to uh, mention which part is from the thro- which part the throat is from the outside view for example if you are seeing a person's face and you are um, estimating his throat which part from where uh, usually what we say throat is that the uh, the place that we can hold uh, with our hand right uh, that is the throat that we are mentioning the neck usually okay uh, the the throat the place uh, that we can hold with our hand right but actually tajweedically the area uh, which mentioned as throat is the area of the exact vocal cord area you know uh, the last class i have mentioned about the adam's apple in uh, men okay it is a little bit projected area okay it is not seen in women right so from that area exactly the projected area hmm, to the back side of your uh, ear okay ears from the back side of the ears to the um, to the the adam's apple area it is almost like a triangular part let me uh, try to show this in this picture okay okay i will show here 
okay see the blue colored area here okay from here okay to here this is the area mentioned as throat okay the area that is colored here is we can see as like this okay this is the area mentioned as a throat so if you can see from the outside which is the area C this is the projected area and this is the back part of the ear our ears are situated between our nose and the lips so the so this is the uh, ending area of our uh, what ears okay so from this area to here as a triangular form I can explain that this is the I'll help uh, in the Tajvidic explanation okay okay alhamdulillah now we will uh, go to the specific divisions of this articulation point okay we know that the al halq is the general maharij of six letters that, that means six letters are coming from al halq okay and from where these six letters are coming that we have to study the specific articulation points of the al halq okay there are three specific articulation point okay which are the the deepest part of the throat the middle part of the throat and upper part of the throat okay let me explain here okay see this is the al halq the blue colored area okay i told you that there are three specific articulation point from this area which are the this is the deepest part the deepest but i have uh, shown an arrow here uh, in the last part like it will be like this from inside to outside okay that is the uh, explanation for the words deepest deepest yani it is closer to the chest okay and the middle and the upper part is the closer to the mouth okay here it is the mouth here it is the chest okay so the deepest part of the throat it mentions the chest area and the upper part of the throat it mentions that it is closer to that area closer to the mouth opening okay so here what we will do i told you that the uh, the general maharij the al halq is divided into three specific maharij which are the the first one is the deepest part of the throat which is mentioned as the aqsa al halq aqsa aqsa yani the farthest okay or the deepest the deepest it mentions i have told already told that the deepest men mentions the area closer to the chest okay we know that the chest is here downwards and the mouth is out outwards right the deepest part of the throat is the area which is closer to the chest okay which is closer to the to the chest that is called aqsal halq okay if you can uh, if i can uh, explain the aqsal halq it will be from here to here this area it is the deepest part of the throat okay and which is the next part next part is the middle part of the throat that is called wasthul halq wasth means mutawasit it is called middle or medium right that okay uh, the wasthul halq is the middle part of the throat okay if you can uh, see here this is the area okay it is the middle part of the throat okay and what is the last part the last part is the upper part of the throat it is called as adenal halq adenal halq is the upper part of the area which is closer to the mouth okay so i have told you the uh, area i can explain as a uh, mention as a triangular area okay the first half it is the deepest part the second part it is the middle part and the third is the upper part which is called as adenal halq aqsal halq wasthul halq and adenal halq halq means throat okay so these are the three specific articulation points from where six letters are coming how many letters six letters we will go one by one okay so the first one is the aqsal halq so the aqsal halq i have told you which is the area this one okay is the aqsal halq area okay it is the deepest or farthest part of the tongue sorry farthest part of the throat okay it is closer to the chest it is uh, closer to the chest and it is the uh, starting point of our articulation system right uh, for the first general maharaj we have mentioned is the al jawf but al jawf includes the halq and the mouth 
and little bit outside of our lips also right but the if we have to um, start from the starting point of articulatory system articulatory system it is the alhalk i would say it is the deepest part of the throat where the vocal cords are situated okay in this red colored area our sound box is situated okay if you have if, if you can check here this is the prominent area right so here i have told in the last class that this is the area where our vocal cords are situated right so from here actually it is not shown here this is the area where vocal cords are situated and from here two letters are originating which are the hamza and ha hamza and ha are the two letters which is coming from the aqsa al okay so if someone ask you from where the hamza and ha is coming which is the makhraj of the aqsa al you can say it is al halq yes but it is a general makharij but is a specific articulation point of the hamza and ha it is the aqsa al okay aqsa al where the vocal cords are situated and how it is happening we will discuss and before that and we are uh, we know that we are going to study the makharij of every letter each and every letter right but how the scholars have um, written all these makharij in you no know, uh, into sentences okay i would say like uh, how the um, scholars came to denote the makharij of these letters how they find out the makharij okay it is in a few steps how first what happens is that if we have to go for a makharij of a letter we have to put we will we, we have to find the makharij of some letter for example i will take the letter mean okay if i have to find the makharij of that letter i will just pronounce the letter okay how i have to put the sukun to that letter here i took the letter mean okay i have to put the sukun to the letter okay and now i, I have to pronounce the letter but for the, for a letter with a sukun it will be difficult to pronounce okay so what i would do i have to make a letter make the letter proceed with another mutahharik letter what is mutahharik it is a haraka bearing letter a letter bearing a haraka is called a mutahharika so this sukun letter should be preceded by a mutahharik letter okay the uh, the easiest uh, is to put it with a hamza okay the hamza and the haraka is preferred is fatha you can put either kasra or boma but preferred is fatha okay so there will be the letter the letter will be a sakin and before it is a mutahharik letter okay i took the letter meem here the meem i will put a sukun meem sukun it will be difficult for us to pronounce the meem sukun alone so what we will do we will put a hamza with a fatha before it then i will pronounce it okay um um and then i will check where the sound ended what happened to my mouth where did i close where did i separate what did i do to get that sound thus i can find the makhraj of that letter where the sound ended um i can pronounce the letter meem only by closing my lips so thus lips is the makharij of the letter meem okay for example if we take a fa what will be the letter fa fa i have to put a sukun preceded by a hamza fatha it is not mandatory it will be a hamza and a fatha you can put any letter but preferably hamza and fatha hamza with a fatha so f f f i can say how the fa is produced when the bottom edge of my upper incisors will touch the inner wet area of my lower lip right f f f yes so that is the makharij of the letter fa right now we will go to the hamza the first letter from the deepest part of the halq from the aqsa al halq is the hamza so i have told you that hamza is from the aqsa al halq where the vocal cords are situated okay so how the sound is produced the vocal cords will close completely you know that for the makharij of the letter we have to find the exact makhraj by putting it sukun right so if we do the makhraj of a letter we will get the sound of its sakin condition you know the mechanism of sukun we have ex uh, discussed in it in the second class i think okay in our second class um, i have told you the mechanism of the sukun condition what is it it is the collision okay the makhraj where the collision happens then we will get the sukun sound of the hamza what is it 
the makhraj the here it is the vocal cords right there should for a sound to happen or for a in a makhari there will be two articulating parts uh, for example if i wave my one hand there won't be any sound right but what happens if i close it together with a strong bonding there will be a sound right similarly we need two articulating parts for it become to be a makhraj for the hamza the two flaps of the vocal cord okay there are two flaps for the vocal cord this is the first part this is the second part okay so this first part will collide with the second part collision yani is strong collision there is no gap in between these two parts and this vocal cords will close completely okay so what will we get we will get the sound of the hamza how it will be in hamza sukun okay Did you hear the sound of the Hamza? Or I will uh, now what I did was Hamza Fatha. What I did was Hamza Fatha, Hamza Sukun. Uh, uh, since both are Hamza, I will change this letter to another letter. Ya Fatha, Hamza Sukun. Okay, I will do this. Ya Fatha, Hamza Sukun. Or oh, let me erase this, it will be confused. Okay. Ya Fatha Hamza Sukun. I will do this. Okay. Ya. 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 Okay. The Ya part you might have heard. Right. But what with the Hamza Sukun? Did you hear any sound of the Hamza? Ya. Ya. You might have heard like the Ya Fatha with a cut sound. Cutting sound. Right. After the ya fatha, you might have heard a cutting sound. Ya. Ya. Why this is happening? Because we know that how the sound is producing. The air from our lungs will pass through the vocal cords and the vocal cords will vibrate making the sound. Okay. But what is with this hamza? For the hamza to happen, the vocal cords will shut completely. The vocal cord will cl uh, shut completely so that no air or no sound will pass through the vocal cords. Since there is no air or no sound, how can you hear the sound? That is why after the ya fatha, you didn't hear any sound. That is the makhraj of the hamza, where if it is in a sukoon, you can't hear any sound, but you can feel like that that strong uh, that cutting sound that you can uh, feel. I don't know if I can use the word here because if it is a Hamza, yeah, yeah, still uh, it is, uh, I feel like kind of feeling the Hamza sound. Yeah, 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 the yeah, Fatha. After that, there is the Hamza Sukun where we can only, um, I don't know, yeah, the, we can hear, but is there is a Sukun sound. Yeah, but how can I hear the Hamza sa sound like? When we are have to open the closed part with a fatha. For example, Hamza fatha, uh, uh, Hamza kesra, e, e, Hamza bomma, u, u. Okay, so if I say a, e, u, there is no Hamza. Why? The Hamza will happen only by tightly closing and then opening. A. Uh, 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 don't say ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, it's not the sound of the Hamza. The Hamza is the sound if it is have to fatha, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. There should be a strong uh, shutting and opening of the vocal cord should happen. Okay, let me show in the next picture. See here, if it is the Hamza, sakina, okay, what is the condition here? vocal cords are shut right but what is with the hamza mutahirika mutahirika yani hamza with a fatha kesra or bomma okay so when we produce the sound of the mutahirika there will be how many mechanism there will be two mechanism along with the maharij mechanism of the hamza for example if i have to say hamza fatha i have to first make the sound of the hamza the then I have to do the haraka 
فتحة اوكي همزة فتحة I have to do the حركة mechanism اوكي so what is with the مخرج of the همزة it is the closing of the vocal cords right it is the collision of the vocal cords thus we can make the همزة so that means the vocal cords are shut in this condition but what is what we have to do for the haraka there will be two mechanism if you can remember which are they the first one is the separation second one is the one is the corresponding mouth opening right so here what is the separation we have to do we have to separate the vocal cords forcefully okay so what happens if you don't open the vocal cords forcefully to like a uh, a uh, E, U, A, E, U. No, it is not the Hamza. For the Hamza, it should be A, A, E, U, A, E, U, A, 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 A. This is the tightly bonding and forcefully separating the makharaj of the Hamza. A, A, A. Okay? A, E, U, there is no tight bonding and forcefully separation. It is like, just like the paper is teared and then again stick uh, with, with uh, just uh, we joined it and then we are separating. There will be no sound. Only if we separate the paper uh, where it is not teared earlier, it will make a strong sound. Similarly, if the vocal cords are not shut completely and then we separate it, we, will get, we won't get the sound of the Hamza. Okay, hope you understood my point. Now, so I have explained the two conditions of the Hamza. Hamza Sukun, we have to close the vocal cord completely or shut completely. And what is with the Mutaharika? Mutaharika means we have to um, open uh, the Makhraj after joining. After joining means after the tight bonding, we have to separate the articulating parts forcefully to form the separate formation of the haraka along with the corresponding mouth movement. If I say Hamza Fatha, the corresponding mouth opening should be, the tongue will be relaxed because the Hamza is a light letter um, and our TMJ joint opening for the Fatha. What if it is a Kesra, the articulating parts will be for separated forcefully then the corresponding mouth opening will be the middle of the tongue will be raised by dropping our lower jaw for bomma what we will do for bomma what we can do is that we will circle the lips okay along with raising the back part of the tongue okay this is all with the hamza now we will move to a video <laughs> لأقصى الحلق همز هاء ومن وسطه فعين حاء أدناه يعني أدنى الحلق غين خاؤها السهم الذي يشير إلى الحلق uh, this is a uh, video by Sheikh Ayman Suwed who is a living scholar so what he uh, explained just was uh, a part of the poem of Imam Ibn al-Jazari where he is mentioning the specific makharij of the al-halq Okay, what he has said is here. Is okay, that means from the thumma li aqsal halqi, from the aqsal halq, there will be hamza and ha. That is the first part that we are doing, and there will be another two articulation points also that we will discuss later. Now we will move. السهم الذي يشير إلى الحلق وهي المنطقة زرقاء اللون الحلق فيه ثلاثة مخارج لستة أحرف ما هي Okay, what Sheikh has said is that from the halq there are three مخارج and six letters Okay, which are the letters that he will be explaining now الحروف الستة هي الهمزة والهاء والعين والحاء والغين والخاء Okay, what he has said, what he has said is that from the Aqsal Halq there will be Hamza and Ha, from the Adnal Halq there will be Ghain and Kha, from the Wastul Halq there will be Ain and Ha. Okay, now he is explaining the Aqsal Halq. Okay, listen carefully. Al-Awtar al-Sawtiya, wa hiya ab'adu min taqatin min al-Halq, makhraj al-Hamza wal-Ha. Hatha al-Wataran al-Sawtiyani fi Aqsal Halq, 
وهو مخرج الهمزة الساكنة Okay. So what Sheikh has said, uh, the black colored area is the aqsal halq where the outer sultiya. Outer sultiya is the vocal cord that he has enlarged here, and he has said that from here it is the makhraj of the hamza and ha. Okay, the vocal cords is the makhraj of the hamza and ha, and if we produce here, we will get the hamza sakina sound. Okay, hamza sakina. Here it is mentioned that the red colored area it is sakina. Sakina means the sukun condition of the hamza. Okay? Ya tun, for example. Ya, ya. Okay, when the shaykh said ya tu, ya tu, we can see that for the ya fatha, the vocal cords opened. Okay? For the ya fatha, vocal cords opened and when the hamza sukun he said the vocal cord shut completely cut by cutting the sound okay okay now he has explained the mutaharrika condition where it will be shut at first and then it will be opened for the haraka why it is shut at first is because the makhraj of the hamza and then we have to separate it for getting the um, sound of the harakah. Okay, listen carefully. Okay, the ha we will do later. Okay, now we will go back to our, our class. Okay. So this is all about Hamza and the Ha that I will do in the next video, inshallah.